Dear loving Lord, help us uh, as we study your word, help us to realize that your word is the most important thing that we have as far as books go because it is your word, it is verbally inspired, that is it's given by you through the prophets and the apostles as they were inspired, verbally inspired by the Holy Spirit and in it, the Bible, we have the good news of Jesus, that through him we have complete and full free forgiveness and by that forgiveness eternal life. Show us today how the early Christians responded to that good news as they shared your word with everybody. In Jesus we pray. Amen. pray. Came and rested what seemed to be like something rested on them. Like tongues of fire. Right? And then in the room it sounded like a violent rushing wind. Alright, so those are two of them. What are the two again? Fire of the hand. Okay, fire. That seemed to be like tongues of fire. And, and then the other one. Amen. Like a, in, the, in, the, in the room there seemed to be like a violent uh -huh. rushing wind. The sound of a violent rushing wind. And the third thing that happened is that the disciples were able to do what? Speak in tongues. Yes, and tongues uh, would be here uh, what? Different languages. Different languages as all the people were there for the special day of Pentecost. And... Had they learned them before, the languages? No. No, the Holy Spirit was doing a miracle there. What were they telling the people in their own language? About God. About God, about Jesus, about the Savior, about the wonders of God, right? And so uh, it became clear that this was a special day. We often refer to it as the birthday of the New Testament church. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting with... Okay, so all that they were doing... <laughs> Whose name was it in that they were doing it? Yeah. In the name of God and the name of Jesus. All glory to God. Uh, not to them. The leaders of the Jews in the synagogue, they were looking to get themselves the glory. Uh, and they wanted to stop this from happening as far as Jesus being proclaimed because it was taking away from them their power over the people and uh, their teachings about heaven being something that you earn rather than as a gift. Uh, so uh, notice what happened as they were all gathered together, the Christians were all gathered together. Um, were they afraid? No. No. Whatever's going to happen, they were going to continue to do what? What were they going to continue to do? No matter what? Were they going to help? Yeah. What were they going to continue to do? Believe and share it with other people. Yes, very good. They were going to continue to believe and share it with other people. Um, who do we obey? God or human being? Um. God, right. God is first and foremost. And then Paul said, or Peter said, we cannot help but speak about what we have heard and seen. Okay, we're going to pray. But before we pray, a couple things about homework time. Let's pray. <laughs> Dear Lord God, thank you so much for teaching us about law and gospel as we have heard Peter's sermon on Pentecost and then also as we heard that sermon afterwards. And then also as we heard the, the leaders of the uh, Jews try to quiet them. You have shown us our sin too, like you showed them their sin as they were told that they crucified the author of life. 
the Lord, we also have crucified the author of life because it was for our sins too that Jesus went to the cross. Forgive us for our sins, Lord, which are so deadly that they, uh, that they took you to the cross and you paid for them all there. And continue, though, to show us our Savior because we don't want to be left with such guilt and with such a burdened conscience. Help us to know our Savior always so that we know the peace and forgiveness that come through Him. In Jesus we pray. Amen. To you. All right, now it's going to ask us to do easy, moderate, harder, expert of the Bible. Now the Bible, if you go expert, there are tons of names and, oh man, all kinds of stuff that could be really hard. We'll go with easy. Go easy. And we'll go New Testament. Different. Guys, Eric, three to, yeah, the thing is don't talk while I'm talking. It's very disrespectful. Okay, thank you. There are three to five rounds. We good? Thank you. There are three to five rounds, and after each round, we'll take a look at the score, but then we'll maybe take a look at one of the questions and learn just a little bit more about it from God's Word as I share some things with you, okay? Because the biggest reason for the game is to learn more about what God's Word says. But it's also to have... One. And the answer is... Good try, good Player try. Player two. That was close. Was Keep trying. Player three. Who warned Joseph to flee into Egypt? Herod scribes an angel or the shepherds two the answer is an yeah. angel player three wonderful all job. Out enough? player one uh, yeah, was paul's yeah. father a pharisee no, no, sadducee or scribe oh. yeah. sadducee pharisee or scribe two the answer is pharisee player one outstanding thinking Player two. How many mites did the widow donate to the treasury? Two, three, or seven? One. The answer is two. Player two. Outstanding effort. Yay. Player three. What is the last word of the Bible? The book. All or Amen. Three. The answer is Amen. Player three. Brilliant thinking. Player one. What did the soldier do to Jesus instead of breaking his legs? Pierced his side with a spear, or pierced his side with a sword. One. The right answer is pierced his side with a spear. Player one, outstanding. You learned that at the rock. Player two. How many times was Paul stoned? Two. One or three. Three. The correct answer is one. Player two. Good try. Player. All right, we pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for. We'll wait for you, Sammy. I was looking at All right, let's concent concentrate or at least respect the moment, okay? My, my heart hopes that you're praying from your heart with me. Dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son so that through his sufferings and death we would have forgiveness. Thank you for what you have done, dear Son, as you took our place, kept the law perfectly for us and sacrifice yourself so that we would be forgiven our sins. And thank you, dear Holy Spirit, for giving us faith to believe. Dear Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, continue to watch over uh, your people, watch over the teens, uh, keep their faith intact and strengthen it through the power of your word. Also take care of Brandon, relieve him of any more seizures. We pray, dear Lord, that you help the doctors to continue to treat him correctly so that he would be relieved of any discomfort. We pray this also, dear Lord, for anyone who's suffering. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Amen.